Good morning, Dr. Gary here on the road. It's Saturday morning, and we are out there working for you down at the beach. Today's topic is more trouble with the non compliant landlord leasing agent. We'll get into that. So as you know, we're in multiple states selling dental practices nationwide. And we've been doing this now for 13 years, and uh, I was a dentist for 25. We have a staff of 10, including two CPA accountants, all to service you. We're now working 363 days a year. And we're available from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. East Coast time every day except Christmas and Easter. So just call us. Now all the information you're about to hear is for entertainment purposes. It's not legal or business advice. And also if you are thinking about selling to one of the DSOs, we work with them all around the country. And uh, we're here to help you. We think we know who the best ones are, and they are going through some difficult, you know, kind of consolidating times. The wild offers you used to hear in 2021 and 22 are not around anymore. Things have changed because of interest rates have gone up. In fact, this past Wednesday, the interest rates went up again. We're in July of 2023. So things are getting tighter for them. The margins are getting tighter. Their money is more expensive to acquire now. Now, when you work with us, the uh, DSOs, uh, based on criteria, pay our commission. So, majority of the time, there is no commission for you. So, bear that in mind. The um, uh, Also, when you work with us, there will be essentially reimbursement of legal fees. So you're really going to have legal fees at the end. They'll be reimbursed to you upon successful closing, based on criteria and so forth. But we'll reimburse them to you upon successful closing. So a lot of we've done that to quite a few of our uh, uh, sellers that uh, sold the, uh, the TSO. It works out quite well. So please give us a call and uh, give you that information. So what am I getting back to this? We're having big trouble, as I said, on one of our other uh, YouTube videos with this landlord leasing agent. It's three months, and they were not they are not compliant. They're not talking to us. This, oh, well, they're giving us lip service. They're not doing anything. And I, on the previous uh, YouTube, I told you what steps I had initially taken. But we're still not getting anywhere. So, I mean, it's Saturday morning. I have to think and try to help plan the next step. You can't wait till Monday and say, okay, here's what we're going to do next week. No, it doesn't work that way. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to advise a multi-step approach. That is, we will um, go above the leasing agent and go directly to the owners of the buildings somehow, some way. Secondly, the attorneys are going to have to get involved. Three months of not approving a simple lease assignment. And I mean simple. This is from the same lease, no changes. From one, well, you know, because both doctors are, are renting buildings from the same company and they're like across the street from each other. Uh, there should be no problem. But they're giving us a really hard time. So what we're going to do is it's going to be a multi-tiered approach. The attorneys are going to have to get in and start threatening lawsuits. That will get their attention all the time. Secondly, we're going to have to go directly to the owners and tell them, here's the problem. We understand we have to work through your leasing agent. We understand that, but he has been non-compliant. It's three months. 
and we have not gotten a simple lease assignment with no changes. And this is what has to happen on deals. You can't just like take off for the weekend and figure out oh, everything's fine. We'll pick up again on Monday morning. No, it's, it's Friday night. It's Saturday morning. It's Sunday morning. This is what you have to do as a broker. You've got to work with the buyers and the sellers to develop strategies and, and hope that everybody's uh, aligned to this. And that's what we're going to be doing. So I'm thinking about it today, Saturday making the recommendation, get the attorneys to take it to the next level, start threatening legal action. You know, you don't want to um, get an, a landlord angry, but if they're not helping you, you got to shake them down a little bit. And that's going to be legal action. It's going to have to be go over the top of the leasing agent, go right to the owners of the building. Uh, on the other end, you could also work on the support staff of the leasing agent, which I'm trying to work on. But it's not easy. It's just not easy. This is what you have to do. You've got to keep at it. You can't give up in this because they'll beat you each time. The leasing agents, they don't care, especially in major cities. They'll beat you down. You've got to be on it. Your attorneys have to be on it. Your bank has to be helpful. Everybody has to be on it. Buyer has to be working on this. Seller has to be working on this. This is 24-7. All right? So that's what our next plan is. Let's see what happens. I don't know. But this is the frustration and aggravation you're going to go through. I've always told you there's these bumps in the road that you're going to encounter. And those bumps could come at the beginning, the end, the middle, the end. I don't know when. This bump is at the end, and it's a major hurdle. Major hurdle. I don't know. But three months is a long time. Now you have the problem of the buyer getting worn out. Something could happen to the seller in the meantime. The seller could get disabled, and the value of the practice plummets. The buyer could lose his energy, and the buyer disappear, disappears. The buyer can get disabled. Too much time on a deal destroys deals. So you've got to remember this all the time. I know it's hard, but it's not going to end. It's not going to be you know simple that it's just going to go seamless transition. You could throw that right out the window. Although that happens occasionally, majority of the time, it's not happening. It's chaos. It's problems. It's bumps in the road. And I don't know what books or articles or lectures you're listening to. I'm not sure. But uh, this, is, this is reality. Okay. Thank you. Keep tuned. We have new videos coming out all the time. New practices coming out. You should be getting on list every month or every six weeks, somewhere around there. All right? And if you don't, just you know, call us up, sign a non-disclosure agreement, and the buyers will get the list. Thank you. Bye.